All right, yesterday I was out for a walk and I came across this little logging road puddle that had some uh, wood frog eggs in it. Now these eggs probably aren't gonna make it and I, I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it last night. So today I, uh, I came out here to rescue them. Now under normal circumstances, I would say you should not move amphibian larva or any, anything from one pond to another or a pool to another for the risk of spreading diseases. Um, but in this case, this puddle's here. I'm pretty sure it's going to dry up before these guys would um, metamorphosize into adults. So I am going to move these. Now the pond I'm going to move them to is only, it's only uh, about 100 yards that way. So any pathogens that are here are probably already in that pond and anything that's probably in that pond is probably already here too. So here's what I'm gonna do. I brought out my trusty pool cleaning net here that I've been using to collect amphibians. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop these guys up best I can without getting too much of the leaf litter and everything with them. Come on you. Oh, they're so gross. <laughs> All right, I really need two hands for this. Let's see how many more I can get. So yeah, these are wood frogs, and you can tell they're wood frogs because of the, the little round clumps that they, they're just kind of out in the open and round clumps like marble-sized clumps of eggs. Um, toad eggs will be usually long chains and wood frogs are also one of the first things to breed around here so you're pretty safe to assume that it's wood frogs if it's this early in the year all right finished up we've got quite a thing full of eggs here so you can see we got several masses of these gelatinous eggs that are all almost individual um but are kind of slimy and fall apart. I think those are actually Jefferson salamanders. And I think these gelatinous uh, balls here that uh, have just a bunch of eggs on the inside, I think those are wood frogs. They could be spotted salamanders too, but I'm pretty sure these are wood frogs and uh, Jefferson salamanders. All right, here we go. Let's release them into the pond here. in there. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And they're all in the pond now. So, again, I'm just going to reiterate, don't move eggs too far away from where you find them because there's always a chance of transferring pathogens around and things like that. But, uh, yeah, these, these two water bodies are close enough together that it, it, I have some of the same frogs that bred in that pond, I'm sure, are bred in this one and vice versa. So hopefully these guys will make it and they'll turn into salamanders and frogs and, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes.